They promise to never hurt them again. They promise never to say mm. these things again. They go back and it just goes round and round and round for years. And unless you get out and seek the proper treatment and to get yourself some help, you will never beat this cycle. Well, well put. Uh, let's get a call in real quick, then we'll get Vicki in on the conversation. Sheila in Illinois. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Mike. I was wondering... Uh, Okay, if if the dad was had custody of and had was supposed to have physical custody of Asia, why and and he got that in December, mm -hmm. why didn't he have possession of her? I mean, why didn't he have custody of her? Why 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 were you yeah, yeah, excellent point, Sheila? Uh, Michelle, where was the biological father? Um, I'm, we don't know don't at know. this time, but what, you know, sometimes in these sorts of situations, even if there is a, an, an order in place, sometimes the parents will work out something behind the scenes. So we don't really know what happened. Okay, let's bring in Vicki Ziegler. Vicki, let's hit on a couple of points. We, there's so many places to go here. One is, why would the mom only have supervised visits? Uh, well, number one, probably that she potentially was a risk to her own child and or she had people in her life that were potential risks, like this individual, Hobbs, who has a criminal record. Uh, he's done things to children, obviously, um, and the court order specifically said that he was not to be around Asia. So those uh, points lead me to believe that the court did not believe that Tanya was a capable mother and a fit mother at this point. Okay, so what you're saying is then the court believe that she was still going to have contact with this Hobbs, mm -hmm. even though, let's point out again, he had threatened to kill them both. Right, exactly. It's a it's a constant abuse of domestic violence, as your guest alluded to. And the point is, there was never a final restraining order in place, just a temporary one. This woman obviously was manipulated by this gentleman, and the potential that Tanya, uh, that Asia could be involved in a setting unsupervised was quite scary, and mm -hmm. the court wanted to make take that precaution. But at the end of the day, you see what happened here, Mike. What? We don't know where Asia is. Right. Well, Vicki, what more could have been done legally to keep this guy away from Asia number one and the mom? number two but especially the little girl uh, I think number number one that the final restraining order should have been implemented she should have went forward um, and, and received that you file it with the court you make sure that uh, Asia's school knows about it and number two if in fact you need to get an investigator or somebody to take a look into Hobbs uh, background you would see number one he was supposed to be in court today um, so you need to make sure that perhaps you can get protection for this child and the best protection for anyone when you see a court order that says supervised that really means supervised yeah. with either trained professionals available or family members that will never allow Asia to be harmed and this obviously okay. didn't happen all right ladies thanks so much Vicki Michelle we appreciate it. Coming up, Casey Anthony in court talking.